Hey everyone, I'm here with Brandon. He's a member of Eagles for Liberty at Florida Gulf Coast University. Um, right now he's facing some liberal outlash on campus from a professor who's opposed to his club showing of uh, not evil, just wrong. So, hey Brandon. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I was just gonna ask you a couple questions. Um, you're the vice president of Eagles for Liberty. Uh, what exactly is Eagles for Liberty? Um, we are affiliated with the international organization Students for Liberty, um, promote the ideals of free markets, non-interventionist foreign policy, um, individual rights and whatnot on our campus. Um, and we have mutual, mutually beneficial uh, education sessions, talk about certain topics, um, talk about kind of a libertarian perspective on that, um, have little debates, things like that. Okay, cool. Um what made you choose to set up a viewing of Not Evil, Just Wrong? And can you tell me a little bit about the movie? Yeah. I um, got an email from the advisor uh, for our club showing us a trailer to this movie. thought it would be a good idea to put on a showing. Um, so we took a look at it. Trailer seemed interesting. Um, basically, the, the idea of the movie seemed to be to... Uh, add the human perspective to the, the kind of extremist wing of the environmentalist uh, movement, talk about why humans are part of the environment as well, things like that. Um, it wasn't a great movie. It was okay. Um, but of course, it had its own secret agenda and you know, whatnot, of course. But uh, no, overall, it was, uh, it was a pretty good movie. Um, but the, the problem came after the movie. We showed it. Uh, he didn't email us until after the movie was already uh, done. Okay. Um, well, my next question was, um, Dr. Green is his name. He emailed you in response to your, um, I guess, e-invitation to um, the school, um, inviting them to come see the screening of the movie. Uh, right. He said that you violated Florida Gulf Coast University's policy not to use the email system for political propaganda. Can you go a little bit more into detail of what he is exactly accusing you of? Yeah, um, what we did, it's actually that original email was sent out by uh, the club president, um, not me. He's a little more creative than I am, so he tried to make it look uh, fun, I guess. But um, so he sent it out to some business classes, economics classes, and uh, there's a, a course on the campus called Colloquium, which is the uh, environmentalist class. And it's, it's a very one sided course uh, from what I've heard from. Uh, nearly everyone who I've talked to has taken it. I haven't uh, yet taken it. But um, so, so we sent it out to these classes. He teaches a colloquium class. Therefore, he got one of the emails um, about it. Um, and and the, the first accusation the email started off with, we're in violation of a policy. And I said, well, you know, I'm not out to violate policy, so I, I'll, I'll respond to this guy. But uh, he went on, his very next sentence was uh, something to the effect of, you know, this is a, a fundamentalist right-wing set of lies uh, about the necessity uh, mm. to maintain environmental stability, something along those lines. Um, so I responded back to him, something to the effect of free exchange of ideas on a public university campus. Um, I agree that the movie wasn't that great, but I, I, I questioned where he got his information because he said he didn't watch the trailer. Um, he couldn't have seen the movie because he wasn't at the showing and there are no other showings in the area that I know of. Um, so he was basing this information, I guess, on the, the couple sentences we had in the introductory email, the invitation to the classes, I suppose. But uh, it turns out that there is no uh, policy. Uh, the policy that he was referring to um, is for staff and uh, faculty members and says that faculty um, cannot participate in submitting partisan information to the email system. So no vote Republican, no vote Democrat, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, if we were faculty, uh, I still don't think it would have been uh, considered under that uh, policy because it wasn't a partisan issue. It wasn't even a political issue. The movie said nothing about politics. Of it. it was... Uh, just looking at some of the key points in Al Gore's um, An Inconvenient Truth movie and kind of pointing out a couple factual errors, a couple 
scientific errors, things like that, um, that, that didn't pertain to the policy whatsoever. Okay. Uh, my next question is, do you even know Dr. Green? And if not, have you met anyone who has an encounter with him before? And also, what is um, anyone, if you haven't met him, what's someone's perspective that has met him, that you've talked to him about it? Um, what's their reasoning as to why they think he would be attacking you? Um, no, I, I, I've never uh, met the gentleman. I haven't taken a class with him. I, if I've seen him on campus, I can't recall because uh, I never need to look for him before. I'm not sure what he looks like. <laughs> um, all I know uh, is that he teaches, in addition to the colloquium course, he teaches um, educational technology. And I think from what I understood, it was uh, middle school educational uh, technology, which kind of relates to the the fact that he used the word inculcate in his email, <laughs> that he was trying to inculcate students with a, a certain uh, <laughs> message, a certain agenda, which uh, I just found interesting that he you know, <laughs> openly admitted to that. Yeah. Excuse me a second. <laughs> he could. Yellow. Excuse me? You called me. I think you did. <laughs> um, I, the only reason I picked up is that I've had uh, two people in the past half hour call me wanting to do interviews about this. So. Oh wow. Anyway. How ironic. Yeah. Uh, what <laughs> we were talking about? I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think just um, the classes he was teaching and everything. Oh like right, right, right. So. Uh, uh, j just the fact that his his first email, and you saw the the full correspondence. The first email was a lot more open, a lot more belligerent than the second one. Uh, the second one seemed to be a lot more reserved. Um, mm. I, I, I think he very well knew that he was uh, that his method of trying to intimidate or trying to threaten whatever it was that he was trying to do. Uh, I think he figured mm. out by the second email that it was wrong. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm not overly concerned with anything coming from the provost's office, but um, I, I don't even discount the possibility that he might have said he sent it on to the provost's office and didn't. That's always a possibility, but mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know. So did Dr. Green email you and tell you that he sent um, your correspondence to the provost's office, or did someone else tell you, or how did that come about, and why do you think he sent yeah. um, all this correspondence? Why do you think he felt so compelled to send it to his higher up? Well, uh, he, um, in his second email, after I responded to him talking about, um, you know, freedom of expression on campus, things like that, um, sent a response back saying, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to the content. Uh, I just think there are more acceptable methods of advertising than using the email system. Um, so I've uh, submitted your letter to the provost's office for review for just that reason. And... Uh, I, you know, I don't know if it was the entire correspondence that he sent. I doubt he would have sent the whole thing because it seems a little incriminating on his part, uh, especially just the tone that he was using in the first email was very uh, rude. But um, So I imagine it was just the initial letter, um, the advertisement that we sent out to, uh, like I said, the various classes um, that he sent over to the provost. And I did try and contact the provost's office yesterday. I sent them an email. Um, checking on the status of it. He said, I know a um, uh, case was filed against me by you know, this professor. Mm -hmm. I'd like to check on uh, the status of it so we can clear it up as soon as possible. And I didn't hear back today. I didn't expect to hear back today. But uh, yeah. hopefully tomorrow, maybe first couple days of next week, we'll hear something back. Um, see where we go from there. Yeah. Well, good luck. <laughs> Okay. Um, my next question is that you offered a response to Dr. Green stating that Eagles for Liberty is not opposed to the environmentalist movement, simply right. the method is current that currently is being implemented. Um, following this, you offered Dr. Green a resource for an alternative and also an invite to the next meeting of yes. Eagles for Liberty. Um, has he indicated to you that he looked into the material, I think it was a website you sent him, yes. um, or has he indicated that he was going to attend your next meeting 